Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves alongside Denver Metro Audit says he and, uh, well, S Sweaty, uh, end up finding themselves at a accident scene. And, well, actually they're in the middle of the accident scene, demanding to know where the yellow tape is. And they encounter a police officer who will not take any of their BS. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Had a uh, an accident. It looks like a, a motorcycle accident. A motorcycle got laid down right here. Um, got big sis over there coming shortly, and I'm also here with the lovely Sweet Tea Audits. Okay. So, it looked kind of like a police motorcycle, but I don't think it is. I was, uh driving down south here the guy was in front of me am i being filmed yeah i was recording oh, okay is that are okay you, are you the news <laughs> i'm independent yeah let me give you a little piece of advice then this is coming from somebody who's been at a number of accident scenes in his life uh the best rule of thumb in, when it comes to accident scenes is to not get too close and how you know if you're too close the rule of thumb if you put your thumb all the way out in front of your body and you can't cover the accident scene with your thumb, then you're way too close. And at this point, you are too damn close. But why are you filming accident scenes to begin with? I thought you were way above this. I thought you were doing uh, police stations and all that. Oh, wait. From what I understand, you can't really do that anymore. Independent journalist. Uh Minutes later. The wife looking uh, right there. Yeah, yeah I didn't know if that was a body or not. Are you folks a witness to this fatality? Excuse me? Are you folks witness to this fatality? Oh, I just got out. Are place. you? Why are you I yelling you, at me? I, I'm not yelling at you. I'm asking you a question. Uh, I need you to step out of the crime scene, please. Oh, I'm walking this way. Okay, then step crosswalk. over there, please. Name and badge number. You make contact with me. I'll, I will. As soon as you cross over there. I need your name and badge I number. I want you out of my crime scene. Why are you yelling? Because Calm you're not down. moving. Calm down. Jeez, Chrissy, boy, uh, show a little bit of, uh, well, professionalism if you're going to call yourself a journalist. At least move out of the way when the officer asks you to do so because this is essentially a crime scene, you bloody moron. So do as the officer asks in this particular occasion and just move right on over there. But, of course, you're too stupid to figure that out anyway, dude. Because you're not. It's red. It's Boom. red right now. I will stop traffic. Wow, this guy's crazy, man. Get out of the crime scene. Now. This guy's looking crazy. Get out of the crime scene. Teresa, Chris, get out of the crime scene. Oh, look, it's up. Uh, get out of the crime scene. Out of the crime scene. Now. What's I will give you that as soon as you get over there. You don't need to yell, man. Look at how you're acting. You just get over there. You don't need to act like that. You guys can thank them. Oh, did you hear what he just said? Benny, he had to you, you hear Sweaty in the background. She's all upset because the officer made them move. Oh, poor baby. Like, they should be now angry at us. Do you have tape in your car? No. Okay. Man, that guy likes to yell. I can yell too. I can yell too. I can act like a dumbass too over here.
You know what, DMA? I'm glad you can admit finally that you are a dumbass, because now that you've admitted it, it is the first step to recovery. Clown. That guy's an idiot, man. Oh, look, there's, uh, look who it is. It's Lieutenant Mitchell. Thank you. Come yeah, man, don't be a little bit nicer next time, man. Start I yelling. am nice. Oh, Chrissy boy, you poor little snowflake. Did the mean old cop tell you to move off of the crime scene? I mean, come on now. They've got to do their job and investigate the accident that ended up taking somebody's life. I mean, you're not the only one around there that's, uh, that's important. At least not in your little bubble. You were came up to me I yelling. Nice. You were not nice. Oh, stop. You came you, up you, yelling right do you have away. A complex? Do you have a complex? Do you? You, no, no. you got a little short dick complex? Is that what you got? His name is Ashenberg. Guy came up yelling right away, all getting all crazy on me. What's the matter, Chrissy? Are you envious that he might have one that's bigger than you? Because, you know what? Only a uh, really insecure man would say that to another man. He didn't yell at her. Did he yell at you, man? I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to talk to you all. Not allowed to talk to us? <laughs> They told this lady she's not allowed to talk to us. Oh, poor little Chrissy boy. They told her the truth about you. That all you're going to do is put it on YouTube for profit. I mean, come on now. They they just stopped on your First Amendment rights. Or so you think. I mean, that's going to be your argument anyway. I mean, pretty damn stupid to begin with. Seriously? See what that? She said, well, I'm not allowed to talk to you. Oh, my God. Good. That's what they should have done in the first place. There's Marquez, guys. The guy that likes to use excessive force. Rip my arms back when I'm already in handcuffs for no reason. When I was being peaceful, I wasn't resisting arrest at all. Liar! That's Marquez, the clown. Yeah. And then we got, I think this is a sergeant. It's a uh, Aloya, badge 2301B Aloya. The guy that came up barking orders, yelling at me. Doesn't know how to treat members of the public, just immediately yelling. You know what I mean? Now they got crime scene tape, it's obvious, man. Well, gee, Chrissy boy. When people act as stupid or as entitled as you, always do. It's understandable why these cops would yell at you. I mean, you're just a little snowflake who can't handle uh, someone yelling at you. Just imagine if you had tried to join the military. Bunch of drill sergeants shark attacking you. Boy, you would uh, not know what to do. You'd probably go, crying, go home crying to your mama. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.